Hi guys, I love you. Good morning. Today topic is sticky and blend and ligation. Sticky and are cohesive and are the suitable DNA ending for joining the DNA molecule. In genetic engineering, sticky end is a favorable end for joining the DNA molecule because so it can easily complementary to each other and binds the vector between the dna finally produced recombinant dna moreover the sticky ends are created are generated by restriction of specific restriction enzyme especially type 2 restriction enzyme so those enzymes are binds to conserved sequence called recognition site and cleave the phosphodiester bond between the dna finally forms sticky end so during this genetic engineering procedure we are mixing the gene of interest plus vector both are treated with the specific restriction enzymes so with the help of dna ligase enzyme it can easily join and finally produced recombinant molecule this ligation was fully catalyzed by dna ligase enzyme dna ligase enzyme always obtained from t4 bacteriophage so this enzyme is called t4 dna ligase actually the dna ligase exists in the e coli when the e coli was infected by the t4 bacteriophage so the bacteriophage dna insert inserted in the uh, host cell so immediately the dna ligase to binds to the inserted t4 page genome so it can easily digest it so that purpose and the dna ligase uh, exists in the e coli similarly blend end also uh, we can manipulate in genetic engineering in some cases uh, sometime we are using blend end producing restriction enzymes or other <coughs> genetic engineering tool to cut the dna so that time also we joining the dna molecule using by dna ligase that is called blend end ligation so this is a very interesting genetic engineering tool which employed in the cloning procedure let's go the picture shown in the slide the left side indicate light red color dna segments called backbone backbone means is a template which is ready to receive the gene of interest are insert denoted as backbone right side indicates a uh, strong red color dna is called insert this is gene of interest we already prepared the form of cdna or another standard genes both are involved in the ligation by the dna ligase enzyme the ligase enzyme only to catalyze the formation of phosphodiester bond not to joining the hydrogen bonds between the dna because 3,5 phosphodiester bond is a covalent bond the hydrogen bond is not a true bond so it can easily join with particular distance of nuclear bases the complementary sequences the picture is overall indicate how the dna ligation was takes place so in detail another uh, slides we will show t4 dna ligase is only very strong enzyme to catalyze this, this reaction sometimes t7 dna ligase also enzymes are available but they have some demerits so the t4 dna ligase is a effective enzyme to involve the joining of dna molecule so no any other tool is not still not there to join the two type of dna population similarly dna polymerase to add the dna nucleotides to the third dash end of the one dna population but here we are not using dna polymerase why because dna polymerase continuously added deoxynucleotides to the end but here the three dash hydroxyl group phosphate group in one population joined together by the with the help of atp there are 400 restriction enzymes are effectively employed in genetic engineering among the 4000 sticky end producing restriction enzymes are type 2 restriction enzyme so no doubt about it here 
proteinly laboratory used restriction enzymes are listed here namely BAMH1, ECOR1, KAL1, IND3, PST1, SAL1 and ZAMA1. So among these enzymes, BAMH1 is very uh, interesting restriction enzymes to produce sticky ends. How means? If you compare the basic vectors, so they contain selectable markers, especially ampicillin restriction genes or other eukaryotic selectable marker. So all the restriction mar markers having the BAMH1 site. So the BAMH1 enzymes are uh, mostly widely employed in genetic engineering. Moreover, BAMH1 means B stands for Bacillus, AM stands for Amylolucificens. BAMH1 was obtained or isolated from the Bacillus Amylolucificens. And also, dimeric enzyme binds to six number of organization sites and produced four sticky end nucleotides. Next one is Next one is HIND3 restriction enzymes. This is the first obtained purified restriction enzymes in genetics. HIND3 H stands for Hemophilus, IN stands for Influenza, D stands for Serotype, 3 stands for Third Enzyme. It's also recognized the sixth number of conserved sequences and cut produced to four nucleotide based sticky ends. Next one is PST1. PST1 stands for P for Providencia, ST for Starty. Providencia Starty 1. This is also type 2 restriction enzymes. So all of the enzyme to recognize the six nucleotide bases and produce to four nucleotide sticky ends. And all of the enzymes are binds to cut the double standard DNA molecule. Usually DNA replication and DNA repair mechanism are controlled by DNA ligase enzyme. At the time of DNA replication, the nonsense stand of the DNA template will produce to Okasagi fragment. So after DNA replication, the Okasagi fragments are shielded by DNA ligase enzyme. Then only in the active nonsense templates are generated. However, in genetic engineering, the DNA ligase enzyme to catalyst the ligase procedure, ligation procedure by the four steps. Number one step is recognition. Number two, adenylation. Number three, donation. Number four, formation. Number one, recognition or binding. DNA ligase enzyme goes to bind the specific restriction enzyme cutting site or in the specific palindrome sequence by the opening of lysine residues of the DNA ligase enzyme. So after binding, the lysine residue of the DNA ligase enzyme to conformational changes and just to propagate the amino group of the lysine residues. Second step, adenylation. The complete catalysis of DNA ligase enzyme required two ATP molecules because DNA ligase is a ATP dependent enzyme. So from this adenine triphosphate, the adenine triphosphate initially hydrolysis and produced adenine monophosphate. So the adenine monophosphate comes to bind the amino group of lysine residues of the DNA ligase enzyme. The entire process called adenylation. Finally forms pyrophosphate bond between the amino group of lysine residues and adenine monophosphate. Third step is donation. After formation of lysine AMP complex to activate the 5 dash end of the phosphate group in the population of DNA. Adenine monophosphate group donate to the 5 dash end of the DNA which forms nucleophilic attack. The nucleophilic attack reaction takes place between the adenine monophosphate plus 5 dash phosphate group. The lot of Electrons are interchanged, especially the double bond is disappeared. Adenine monophosphate were transferred into phosphate group. Phospho adenine monophosphate complex are formed. Last one is or fourth one is formation of phosphodiester bond. So, an unstable phosphate group ready to lose the adenine monophosphate to the environment and easily joins to 3 dash OH hydroxyl group of the one population of DNA. So, here Mutual sharing of electrons takes place. Finally, 3,5 phosphodiester bond will form. So, by the four steps, are the DNA ligase to create a phosphodiester bond between the DNA molecule. 
Next one is blend end ligation. Both sticky and blend end ligations are same. The principles are very same, but some difference are there. How means sticky end ligation easily ligated because it has some propagated four nuclear bases and complementary each other, so easily ligated. But blend end ligation, there is no propagated bases, so we can do some additional procedure, additional steps for making the blend end converted into sticky end by by the homopolymer tailing addition, linker sequences addition or adapter sequences addition. So you follow this any one steps treated with the blend end ligation, we make into sticky end by the corresponding restriction enzyme digestion. So afterwards the blend end convert into sticky ends. So we added DNA ligase enzyme and sealed and produced a recombinant DNA. This DNA ligation is very important genetic engineering, most important step because without this step it's not good. The insert DNA not inserted into the vector. So our cloning procedure going to our time successfully. So keep to maintain some physiological conditions for the DNA ligase action. Number one, exactly maintain 38 degrees centigrade temperature, optimum temperature. Number two, using corresponding phosphate buffer. Number three, provide some time to ligate the DNA and addition of some cofactors like ATP and Mg2 plus and likewise. So you maintain these conditions and the reaction mixture, the gene of interest readily joined by the action of DNA polymerase enzyme. Thank you for watching this video. Please, if you are satisfied from the information of the video, then only you uh, share and like and subscribe of my channel. Once again,